Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a battle now on the Karelia map. Uh, it's Rimac from Fidi Clan. It's in the tier 8 Soviet uh, medium uh, heavy tank, the 7032, which is a double barrel tank. And you can see that, um, yeah, you can see the two barrels there. Each one can be fired separately, um, but there's a gap between firing the shells there, so it's, you can't fire each one straight out the other but you can fire two barrels at once but then you have to wait for just over 22 seconds to reload if you fire them singly then it just takes about uh, eight seconds to load the other barrel so you can switch the barrels as well uh, anyway heading to the um, heavy line area where most uh, heavy battles happen but the area where they call the the donut you can see the shape of the hill there. You know, he's pushing up here. And the big running guy, and they spotted a super push in there. Gets a nice shot into that. And he gets reduced to 45 points. And, okay, he's going to finish off the super pushing. But, yep, certainly does. Gets the next shot in there. So it's a 122mm gun, average damage 390, pin in standard rounds 221, and that's the APCR standard round, but it's got a fairly low shell velocity for APCR at 1150, and then the um, main round is a heat round with a much lower shell velocity, but uh, pin goes up to 270. So lets you participate in battles at higher tiers. He was heading to this area here basically to get Artie safe, but also to provide crossfire across there. He's not top tier here, it's a tier 9, tier 8 game. And there's a tier 9 tank there, he phase 1, he's looking to punish him. He's just got a double barrel mode there. You saw the symbol that came up there. And he puts in a hit of 780. He also manages to bounce the incoming round, which is pretty handy. Now they're under a bit of pressure here. They're down hit points and down on uh, tanks slightly. He's reduced that AE phase one now to a single shot. But uh, is he going to wait for both barrels to reload or just the first one and take his chances? Okay, he's waiting for both barrels to load just to give him the option to fire the second shot. But uh, We'll see whether he's going to go to double barrel mode again. Now, unfortunately, you can't hear any engine sounds here. This is a replay bug, so apologies for that. We'll see if we can find a solution to that. It does seem to affect every replay. Anyway, we're heading now. They've just taken back control a bit and got it down to a fairly level thing. Rimac gets the next kill there, so he's on three kills now. And he's already up to over 2,000 hit points of damage. Now, Type 59 has come around from the other side of the hill. There's some areas you can climb up uh, on that side where the Type 59 came from. And he's just getting ready to play there. So you can see he's got his um, two barrels loaded. And if he gets the opportunity, he will go and do what's called charging the barrels. And then firing both shots at once. But he needs a must know that he's going to basically get a penetrating shot to make it worthwhile. Uh, Type 59's been brought down in health a bit. Yeah, he's been spotted and he doesn't really want to take any incoming fire from across the map. There's um, always a danger that you'll be lit here and then tanks where that T-77 is on the map can um, basically be in the same view range and shoot at you. But I just noticed on the other side the M4190 GF is Nigel no friends from Fiddy Clan as well so shout out to Nigel. What sort of game is he going to have? Well we'll see at the end I think. Anyway the Type 59 has been reduced to a single hit point. Who's going to get the kill on that? Is it Rimac? certainly is. And that's the end of Milk Cat Soy. 
who is from Ducky Clan. We just had a replay on the channel earlier from Fading Neptune from Ducky. So I promise we're not featuring Ducky players intentionally other than Fading's video, but uh, it's always nice to see the top clans playing in random battles. In any case, the game is still very much in the balance. They're down hit points, they are one up on tanks at uh, Remek has got four kills now, a couple of them fairly low value kills in terms of the hit points available, but uh, it's that T77 behind him, he doesn't have a shot there, he's just basically on that uh, ramp on the hill, back of the hill, and he's going to come around here and perhaps try and flank him. Reasonably mobile for a heavy tank, you can see here doing 30 plus kilometres per hour, across the ground, but it would be a bit slow going up the hill. Yeah, just spotting out to see whether there's anything there, but he hasn't been spotted. But we don't know where the um, M41 is or the ice 3 they haven't been spotted recently, although the links that side of the map will probably keep them honest. No, nothing's appearing. What are you going to do, Remek? Looks like that T-77 hasn't come over the top of the hill. And it looks like the Lynx is heading towards where the T-77 wants perhaps to, to spot him up again for the tank destroyers. Oh, tank destroyer, there's only one left now, it's Scorpion G. And there's a 50 TP doing a grand job of defending the base. Yeah, it looks like Remax decided that uh, T77 is not coming around. In fact, they've just been spotted now on the other side of the hill. He's on relatively full health, and as I've said that, he's been <laughs> reduced by a chunk. So which way is Remax going to approach him? Okay, it looks like that M41 now is going after the Lynx. But don't forget that's Nigel, no friends. And who's going to come out on top there? We'll have to keep an eye on that one. Uh, looks like Remek is wondering whether he's going to get a shot on Nigel. Looks like both tanks have reduced each other's hit points quite substantially. He's got the shot, he's going to get the kill. Yes he does. <laughs> Leaves his links alive, but gets taken out by the ice 3 but uh, that's the end of the game for Nigel. Anyway, 2500 damage, 5 kills now for Remak, heading towards a top gun, there's 3 tanks left, the T-77 on relatively full health, oh, ok now he's been spotted again, so that T-77 just seems to be going round the base of the hill, and he's trundling off, perhaps to look for Artie, Remak just getting a bit of trouble with his gun there, there's the double barrel hit gets 818 and pulls back now because he's reloading for another 20 odd seconds. Scorpion G's had a go but didn't seem to do any damage. He could have got the kill there. And looks like Artie's fired as well. Alright, there he is. Is Remek going to get the kill there? Yes. No, bounces off. Armor not penetrated. That's a very interesting result there. He's got to wait another 20 seconds to to go. No, he's using his heat round, so that was part of the problem. Uh, okay, Scorpion G's taken out that T-77. So yeah, so sometimes with the heat rounds, if you're not getting a penetrating shot, you get absolutely zero out of it. This is part of the changes in the HE shell mechanics that came in with the recent patch. In any case, Remek is trying to get his top gun and he's heading up to the hill now. There's the IS-3 
hasn't been seen for a while, and then there's the GW Tiger. There's a good chance that the Ice 3 moved back to base, knowing that he's now one of the last couple of tanks there. And Rumac, with the number of hit points he's got, he could certainly survive one hit from the Ice 3. But we don't know the state of the Ice 3 itself. This GW Tiger's been spotted. There's the ice three. Oh, he's down the back there. The yeah, Rimac's been spotted, but I don't know. The ice three's noticed. Comes around, gives him. Oh, he's going into a charging mode. Gets the double barrel hit in. Critical damage. Complete waste of the shell there. And gets an ice hit from Marty, which does bring him down to one shotable by the ice three. And Rimac can't do anything for the next ten seconds now while he's. Loading, he's got one shell loaded, he wants to go with the second one. Dodges the shell from the ice 3 Obviously didn't shout Russia when he fired. And Remex is trying to put some distance here. And hopefully get lit by the ice 3 Oh sorry, the uh, Scorpion G will light the ice 3 he might get another shot. But I think he wants to deal with that arty first and get him out of the way. I don't know if he's influence on the battle. He's been spotted there by the 50TP, who's valiantly come out of the base area. Artie takes a chunk out of the GW Tiger, who's going to get the kill? Well, might well be Rimac actually, if he's um, tucked away here. In fact, there he is. Nice sight shot there. That's the kill. That's the six kills for Rimac. That gets him his top gun. 3.5k of damage. And it's just the ice 3 left, who is still on full health. So this is going to be interesting. Scorpion G clearly lighting up the ice 3 there, but not in a position to do any damage. And Remax coming around to see, okay, which way is that ice 3 facing? And can he get some hits in? Okay, he's come around here. And they'll proxy spot each other. Yes, they have. So the ice 3 knows is coming. Backs away. Scorpion does get a shot in. And Remix being very careful, he does not waste his double barrel charges. And he's losing the opportunity to get more damage out of this. Ice 3 has been taken down. Ice 3 takes out the Scorpion G. 50 TP comes up, he gets a shot, and he's going for the double barrel shot. Lower plate, bang! 606 hit points of damage in one go. It takes him to 4k, and that is the end of the game. An Ace Tanker Mastery Badge there for Rimac. He got the Top Gun for getting the 7 kills and the High Calibre Award for the most damage in the, the both teams, which means you need to do damage for at least 20% of the uh, total hit pools. And got a nice number of bonds there as well. Um, must have been some missions he achieved there. Um, damaged quite a few tanks there as well. Um, in terms of the team performance, uh, 1523 base experience, nice level of experience there. He was bottom tier, uh, and the next tank there was tier 9, who did over three, nearly 3.5k three of damage, so very small performance there from Bucket O Bolts. And on the enemy side, um, Milcat Soy from Ducky in another tier 8, uh, finished on top with 828 base in a losing team, so pretty good performance there. Uh, almost uh, the same damage as Rimac, and um, yeah, would have been unhappy with a loss, but uh, would have made this amount of credits and uh, just stood on the win. And the rest of the team there, and particularly the a phase one that um, Rimac finished off early in the game, and he did less, just under 800 damage, and uh, Nigel, yep, bit of bad luck there didn't uh, pick up a whole lot of EXP. And what did it cost? Well, he fired 18 shots. They all hit, uh, but only 15 penetrated. There were a couple of those bounces, particularly the heat. Um, but uh, he still made 102,000 credits for that battle. Um, the ammunition cost him 40k, but uh, he didn't cost any consumables. So it came out really well there. And another great game there from Rimac. 
Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. There'll be more great content through the week. And thanks for watching.